Hey YouTubers, uh, it's YouTuber here. Um, just doing a lot of reminiscing as I'm walking through my suburban area, small town. And um, yeah, I just, I'm walking through this area uh, that reminded me just exactly, well, just about 12 years ago. Um, this was before I went to California for schooling. And uh, I was just doing a little nighttime jogging in the summer. And uh, while I was running, I just happened to just rest on one of these spots here, you know, after a good, good jog. And uh, this one old guy uh, was pushing his bicycle, and I was like, you know, uh, konbanwa, and he said konbanwa also. And uh, he just started talking, and really random thing, he just randomly started telling me all his issues that he's had like it's like yeah I used to do alcohol I was an alcoholic and then I started doing drugs and I got in trouble and I went to jail I was like oh okay and you know just I just figured as a young naive 19 year old boy that you know maybe he just needed someone to listen to him and you know when someone's actually suffers from depression even just a little confirmation helps out a lot so so I just listened and uh, he started talking to me about, he started telling me, like, some of the things that him and the guys did, you know, and I was like, just joking around, I was like, oh, so you didn't have any problems, did you, you know, like, sex and stuff. He's like, I, I just assumed, he's like, oh, no, there were no problems, oh, we just, you know, we just uh, touched each other and, and had sex. I was like, oh, oh, well, good, good for you. This is actually the exact spot right here. And it's kind of crazy that I'm walking through here, but anyways, <laughs> so he was, he was all started telling me all the stuff he did and I wanted to change the subject because I started feeling uncomfortable. So I was like, oh, okay, so where are you from, man? He's like, oh, I'm from this area. And as he's telling me where he's from, he eventually reveals to me that he used to be in the Yakuza. And I was like, what? And he used to be part of the Yakuza in my city and it was back then when it used to be really strong. So. I'm like, wow, no way. And so he's telling me all this stuff like, yeah, I used to kill people and stab and, and, uh, and we used to have wars and our family was the strongest. So we end up just, you know, conquering, conquering, you know, past Tokyo. So I'm like, wow, that's pretty crazy, man. And then he started talking about some of the gay stuff that he would do with dudes. And I was just like, yo, man, I know I'm not hating or anything, but just don't tell me what you do behind closed doors. Had to change the subject like two more times after that. So then I was like, you know what? Uh, I wish you luck in, luck in your future endeavors, but uh, I must leave, good sir. Some equivalent to that in Japanese. <laughs> so so uh, he's like, hey, you know, um, you, you want to go out and uh, I, I could uh, offer you a drink? I was like, ah, uh, no thanks. I have this bottle of water right here. So uh, have a good night. You know, the crazy thing is that two weeks to a month later after the incident, uh, I was washing my dad's car outside and I looked out to the street to my left and guess who I saw walking by pushing his bicycle up the hill? Yep, the former Yakuza guy. And he looked directly at me too. And after that, he just looked away and went back up the hill, minding his own business. Kinda freaky. Maybe he recognized me, maybe he didn't. But what I know is that he just looked away and went back up the hill, pushing his bicycle. Well, that was a little bedtime story from Yuichi Tuba. I hope you have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.